Hi guys! In last week's video, we went over how to harvest and collect acorns to grind and leach and process into acorn flour. So this week, we are making a recipe, as promised, and it's going to be acorn tortillas. So this is my acorn mush that I have that I've been soaking in water and I've been leaching it out until there's absolutely no bitterness or astringency at all. It's perfectly bland and perfectly edible and ready to use. And it's hard to pour it all out without pouring some of the mush out, unfortunately. That's just kind of an annoying thing about it. But we're going to get that water out. So this is what it looks like at the moment. There's lots of the good acorn mush on the bottom. And as you can see, when I lift it up, it kind of looks like chocolate mousse or chocolate ice cream. It looks really nice. Now I'm stirring this up to uh, combine it all, although in retrospect, I probably should have just poured that top layer off. But we're gonna get the mush out of that extra water by laying out a cookie tray and putting a thin tea towel over it so it can seep through, so we can get rid of some of that extra water. Now I know this looks wrong, but we're pouring out all that excess water and we're gonna sift it through. And it may take a little bit of pushing with the spatula. And I decided at this point to just wring it out, even if I lose some starch along. Because when you squeeze it out really hard, you will lose some starch. But as it turned out, it was still plenty moldable, plenty good starch in there, as you can tell, because it's actually able to form in a pretty good, um, ball-like consistency. It's actually a good dough, so you could stop here and add some salt and make flatbread like um, Native Americans have traditionally done. You just push them down as patties and uh, fry them up. But I've decided I'm gonna do acorn tortillas today. So I'm just doing the rest of this acorn mush, getting all that water out so I can use all of this. So this is all the stuff I have left. I have tons of it to use, so I'm bringing out this plastic Ziploc bag that I cut open so that I could lay it over tortillas that I press, and I've been reusing this plastic bag for a while, so don't worry, I'm not being wasteful. So I'm rolling this out with the rolling pin just by itself with the raw acorn flour, but as you will see, it's probably not going to work out. I thought since it formed together well, maybe it would work, but as I thought, it doesn't really form together well when the starch is in its raw state. It's only when it's cooked that it will actually be able to mold together. So I'm going to do it as if it's a rice roti, which is what they do in India. It's kind of their version of a tortilla with rice flour, and I guess rice flour is similar to acorn flour. So I'm just taking a half cup of water instead of one cup for about one cup of acorn flour because I know the acorn flour is already pretty wet. And then I added a quarter teaspoon of sea salt and then a couple tablespoons of oil. I'm adding my acorn dough ball and mixing that up as well as I can, just making it really well combined with all of that and then covering it with a lid and keeping it off the heat for about five minutes. So while it's been off the heat for five minutes, all that steam has heated up the starch and made it stick together a lot better. And it looks a lot like meat, I know. So I'm kind of kneading it with a spatula while it's still really hot. And as it cools down, I'm able to knead it with my hands. And at this point, I realized that this is actually way too wet and sticky. So even that half cup of water was still way too much water. So I did a second batch where I just wrung out a lot of this acorn flour until it's basically super dry and just kept a little bit of the wet stuff in it, just kind of uh, going by hand and kind of feeling what a basic dough consistency would be like if I were to be doing a rice roti. So I add another quarter teaspoon of salt Mix all that together while it's cooking on medium heat. And then take that off the heat and cover that for five minutes. And then five minutes later, after it's been simmering with the heat off, this is what it looks like. And this one is actually really dry. So while I'm kneading that, 
I realized that I can just add this super wet dough to the super dry dough and it'll kind of even out. So I got that mixing really well. And as you can see, it's actually um, pretty good to mold with. So I'm mixing all of that together as well as possible until I have this huge ball of acorn dough that I'm pretty happy about. And it's making tortillas pretty well. Now that that starch has been heated up, it's forming into balls and tortillas pretty well. So I'm putting it back on this plastic, covering it up. Instead of a rolling pin, I'm using a plate to press all my body weight into to flatten it into a tortilla or a roti. So that peels off well. The moment of truth is whether this backside peels off. And I did it! I finally made an actual acorn tortilla. I was really excited that this worked out, so I started going full steam ahead, pressing all of these tortillas out of 100% acorn flour with just a little pinch of salt and oil. Just one after the other. And this made, I don't know, 16 tortillas? It made a lot. They kind of look like really dark pancakes. So I heated up a saucepan to about medium high heat, actually high heat, and just flipped them like a couple minutes on each side. Because they're already cooked, I'm just trying to get them a little dark and crispy and well cooked. So they're flipping pretty well. They're, they're not getting stuck. And one of them, I decided to try pouring a little bit of oil on just to see if that would affect the flavor profile. But of course that one kind of broke on the way because it started to get sticky with the spatula. So I just experimented more with flipping that and seeing if I could make it nice and crispy. And you can really see it start to change color. It's already dark in its raw state and then it starts to get even darker when it's cooked. So it's a really rich, dark flour. It's really interesting, and it somehow looks a lot like meat for some reason. So that's all the cooked acorn tortillas. Now, they have a great texture. They have complete protein, a good amount of fat and carbohydrates. So it's a good staple crop. Now you'll want to eat it with other strong flavors because it's a little bland on its own. It's similar to tofu that you want to mix it with a lot of like different foods and spices and things. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and let me know how it goes if you try some of your own acorn recipes. Thanks. See ya.